So we have a really intense personal question for you. We really want you to answer this. And there could be another 100 or 200 people from this room in this chair that we'd be asking the same question of. So we really want to ask this question of you. When you feel inclined to explain to people where you've come from and where you are, what do you think is the reason for that? What's the feeling place of that? Are you coming from a place of utter appreciation of what you now know? If that's the case, then blab all day long about it. In my case, I want to feel that I understand the process to have control over it. Because this manifestation, for example, I, I was supposed to come before the pandemic and then I forgot about this desire. And now I came to the States and I was supposed to return home like two weeks ago and suddenly I started to feel sensations and things started to move around and I became a cooperative component and I kind of felt like my inner being took, took me. So my mind was kind of starting to feel fear but something inside me said just follow the sensation like like a follow the torrent what you're describing there is a better job of explaining what we want to explain than what we've been explaining that is exactly how it works when the desire is strong and the resistance is low that's how it works impulses just keep coming and so good for you <laughs> good for you when you say, I want to understand how it happens, that's how it happens. You have a desire that you don't mess up with doubt and too much explanation about why it hasn't happened yet. You said, I forgot about it. I planned to go, the pandemic came and I forgot about it. So you had a desire that was trending because your inner being never forgets anything that you want, but you forgot about it. So you weren't doing that thing that so many people do that was holding you apart from it. And then it came right back into your awareness. Really good. Yeah. I have two questions related to you. Um, I never thought I would be reading books written by a ghost. And <laughs> right before I met your material, I had something that people call an awakening. I had really intense physical and emotional pain. And then it was very intense. And then your books came. But what happened to me is at one point, everything stopped. And I started to feel this energy inside me. And everything you said in your books made sense. The birds started to fly around me. Everything was good like for two years. I, I was still poor. I didn't care. I was happy. Everything was good for me. I didn't need anything. We love you so much, but can you feel how complicated everything gets? We really do want to hear these lovely stories, but we want to impress you with something else that to sort of take the place of that. You don't have to explain nothing to nobody. In other words, when you know what you know, this is what we were getting at with our earlier question. Can you feel what emotion is it that is motivating your desire to tell these kinds of stories? What is that? Because I, I became, because of you, I became a life coach and everything. Is it that I want to be seen? I want to be heard? I want to impress people? But what we're getting at, this is rampant on the planet and it is not helping you out. I try to understand how to shut off my mind. I just... We don't want you to shut off your mind. We want you to shut up your mouth. <laughs> now, we can be kinder about that because we mean it in the kindest way. In this always desire to explain, 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 explain. You activate all kinds of stuff all over the place. In other words, you said so many things there that if we were to really address the vibrational content of them, we could have written three books on that three paragraphs <laughs> that you offered. Okay. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. These are the facts. We're talking about you. I am an extension of source energy. I lived a bunch of life. I put stuff in my vortex. I'm alive. I'm excited and good things are coming to me. And here's a list of the recent ones that are coming. Or, oh, look, there's another. Oh, look, there's another. Oh, look, there's another. We're saying this to everyone, not just you. Enough of the sales job. 
enough of the explaining or in some ways without even realizing that the justifying of why things are coming it's like I have to explain where I've been before I can be understood about where I am that's such a flawed premise because in trying to be understood about where I have been I mess up where I am so instead of shining the light of where I am I've got it cluttered with where I've been so my message as this coach that I am is not coming across as clearly to the others much of the world stands in a place of constant justification of where they are and that holds them right there even though the vortex is so much more so an even more powerful thing that you could be offering you could say life comes at us all and as it does we come to preferences about what we want and they're lined up for us because you know what we're worthy we're deserving of that and every moment that our mood is good we're letting that stuff come in and then dear hearts this is what we are really wanting you to hear because you are so intensely tied to everybody else's observation and opinion of you every time something wonderful comes to you you want to explain to them I paid the price <laughs> I paid the price for it it didn't just happen to me I'm struggling and suffering too it's like you think that the pathway to your wonderful stuff is to have paid a price that source is not asking you to pay that's man's distortion of how it works it's a Catholic Church There's no Catholic Church here and you were laying it on pretty thick <laughs> so as you explain I do that because I learned it there that's just more of that we're out of bagels stuff we know it's not easy to all of a sudden just be here now and feel but we want you to leave this gathering today knowing this I have a point of attraction and my mood lets me know what my point of attraction is and if I'm trying to Esther said to herself the other day I think I'm feeling sorry for myself she had so much to do and people weren't lined up helping her like they should even though they're on the payroll <laughs> and a lot of it she hasn't handed off to them because she's afraid they'll screw it up and she knows she will do it right this could get deep and dark <laughs> and all of a sudden in not feeling frisky like she wants to and often does she thought I'm feeling like a victim and then she thought door number A <laughs> nobody loves me <laughs> can you imagine can you imagine door number B people should try harder door number C my point of attraction is my point of attraction this feeling of feeling sorry for myself even though I may think that I have a justified reason for doing so is getting me nowhere and nothing good can come to me as long as I'm feeling like this because I am in control of my point of attraction only what I think is about my point of attraction it doesn't matter what anybody else's opinion is it doesn't matter how anybody else dovetails with me the only thing that matters in any moment in time is how I feel and I can do something about how I feel if I care enough about how I feel and she was over it Example. a lot of people believe that the way they sell books or courses is by presenting what they have overcome this is a room full of teachers you will attract the neediest of the needy to you and they will bind you and bog you down until you will be sorry that you ever attracted them into your experience if that's the way you match up but if you are standing in your power and your strength and your clarity and your knowing and you know how this stuff works and you know you've got a point of attraction and you know they do too and you are aware of how you feel and you can see pretty much how somebody else is feeling and then you help them to understand that you've got to improve your mood or nothing can change 
but I have reason for this mood doesn't matter but it's been going on for a long long time doesn't matter my husband died doesn't matter I have a diagnosis doesn't matter my parents weren't good to me doesn't matter the government is all out of whack doesn't matter the world is upside down doesn't matter climate change is worrying me doesn't matter it doesn't matter what excuse you're using to feel negative emotion the negative emotion you feel is your indicator that all the stuff that you've been asking for is not being allowed right here right now you've got to improve your mood but I live with ornery people doesn't matter nobody helps me doesn't matter you don't have an excuse big enough and when you give up every excuse for your feeling sorry for yourself or for you feeling a victim when you give up every excuse because you remember these things I wanted to come and I came from source energy and the larger part of me is still there and my inner being has eyes on me all the time and life caused me to ask and when I ask it was given and it's still being given and it's there for me I just got to improve my mood because improving my mood is improving my point of attraction and then when it comes in you go oh I get it I understand how it works I must be worthy I must be blessed this divine intervention on my behalf 24 hours of every single day flowing to me and now I found the key be happy if I can and a little happier if I can't really be happy and a little less grouchy if I can't stop being grouchy because you're not being measured against any other anything other than how much are you open in your valve and then it gets easier and easier